Welcome to the Toolbox training on withdrawing from classes. In this video, we will discuss how students can withdraw from an individual class or from the university. After the add drop period, students can still remove a class from their schedule by withdrawing. Withdrawing means that a non-punitive grade of W is assigned as the final grade for the class. Unlike a dropped class, a W does count as an attempt at a course and will be displayed on the transcript. However, it does not factor into a student's GPA. The add drop period lasts for the first eight days of the semester. After this date has passed, students may withdraw from individual regular term courses until 15 days after mid-semester. For details on adding or dropping a class during the add drop period, view the related toolbox video. Students can withdraw from a class without the approval of an advisor. However, it is a best practice for students to discuss changes to their schedule with an advisor, especially because withdrawing can affect a student's progress towards their degree. Prior to withdrawing, students should also discuss their decision with the Office of Scholarships and Financial Aid to make sure they fully understand how withdrawing could affect their aid and scholarships. Students can withdraw from their classes through their WIO Records registration page. After selecting the correct term, the student can view their registration panel. This summary shows any classes they have officially registered for. To withdraw from a class, the student can use the drop-down menu in the Action column to the right of the course listing. They then select Individual Course Withdrawal. A checklist of items a student must complete and consider before withdrawing from the class opens. Students should read this list carefully before continuing. Finally, the student must click Submit at the bottom of the page to make the change official. The Office of the Registrar will circulate withdrawal information to the major department, instructor, and advisors. The instructor will be notified via WIO courses and email, while the advisor will be notified through email only. If a student comes to you for advice about whether or not to withdraw from a class, some good questions to ask include the following. What is your main reason for withdrawing from this class? What could you have done differently to achieve a different outcome? Have you used tutoring, for example, STEP, or attended supplemental instruction sessions for this class? Do you plan to retake this course? If so, when? Will this affect your financial aid and or scholarships? Remember to refer the student to the Office of Scholarships and Financial Aid if they have not already spoken with them. Students will also often ask what happens if a withdrawal causes them to drop below 12 hours, which is full-time status. Students who live in the residence halls need to remain enrolled in at least six credit hours. If they have paid full-time tuition and fees, they will retain full-time status and will have full-time benefits, including access to student health, their parents' insurance, and admission to athletic and cultural events. If a student wishes to withdraw from all of their courses, it is considered an all-school withdrawal. Students may wish to complete an all-school withdrawal due to extenuating personal circumstances or for academic reasons. Having a thoughtful conversation with a student about why they want to withdraw can help them decide if this is truly the best option for them. The deadline for withdrawing from the university is listed in the class schedule for each semester. Students wishing to withdraw from all courses should initiate the process through the Dean of Students Office. Students living in the residence halls or in the UW apartments who have withdrawn from the university are usually not allowed to remain in the residence halls or apartments, and they should be referred to Residence Life and Dining for additional information. This has been a short overview of how to assist students in withdrawing from a class or from the university. We hope it has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.